Hello, my name is Greg Wolf from MicroSemi, and this video will provide you with a demonstration of a new product called the Blue Sky GPS Firewall. First, a little bit about the product. The Blue Sky GPS Firewall is designed to provide protection against GPS spoofing and jamming events. It's a very simple product to deploy. Here it is. On the front of the product is a set of LED displays and a power over Ethernet management interface. On the rear of the product is a GPS input, a GPS output, which we refer to as the validated output, and we'll discuss that later on in the demonstration, and another GPS output referred to as the hardened output. So that's a little bit about the product. Let's get started with the demonstration. Let's review our demonstration setup. First, we have the GPS source. The GPS source provides a live sky GPS signal as well as a spoofed GPS signal for our demonstration. This GPS source is fed into a GPS splitter. The GPS splitter provides the signal to two places. First, it provides it to a GPS receiver that is completely unprotected, similar to what you'd find in critical infrastructure today. The second output from the GPS splitter is connected to the input of the Blue Sky GPS firewall. Next, the validated output of the Blue Sky GPS firewall is connected to a second GPS receiver. In the case of the validated GPS output, when a GPS signal anomaly, such as a jamming or spoofing event, is detected, the Blue Sky GPS firewall will cut off that output and allow that downstream receiver to go into holdover. The other output from the Blue Sky GPS receiver, as mentioned earlier, is referred to as the hardened output, and it's connected to a third GPS receiver. Along with this hardened output is a connection into the firewall of a 10 megahertz signal coming from a, a, a rubidium atomic source. The hardened output from the Blue Sky GPS firewall um, provides a unique capability in that when not only a GPS anomaly is detected, but even if in the case of a complete loss of a GPS signal, the Blue Sky GPS firewall will continue to provide a full synthesized L1 GPS output to the downstream GPS receiver. So the GPS receiver won't see any change or have any uh, impact whatsoever from the anomaly or outage that occurred. So let's move on to the demonstration. First, let's take a look at the Blue Sky GPS firewall console. The first thing you'll notice is it's very similar looking to the console of our other products, like our Sync Server 600 and 650. It has a set of menu items that are easily selectable along the left, and then a dashboard view that gives you an instant um, capture of what's going on in the system in real time. Right now, things are working normally. As you can see, the console is all green with the time reference, satellite tracking, and both the validated and hardened output showing in a green status. As we move to the right, we have another set of drop-down menus. For example, I'll select the GNSS drop-down menu, and here again we see a little bit more detail about the satellites being tracked and their actual location. So let's move on to the next step of the demo. This next console is showing the status of the unprotected GPS receiver. This is the receiver that's not connected to the Blue Sky GPS firewall. You see three indicators. First, the position. Second is the time. And third is the strength of the satellites being received. The next console is the output, that is the validated output, from the Blue Sky GPS firewall. Here again, we're seeing position, time, and the strength of the satellites being received. In the third console, we're showing position time and again the strength of the satellites, but this time of the hardened output coming from the Blue Sky GPS firewall. You'll notice in the case of the hardened output, although the time aligns with what you see in the validated and the unprotected windows, the strength of the satellite is quite strong and consistent. Let's see what happens when we lose the GPS signal altogether. 
in the first console, we see the satellites disappear altogether. Moving to the second console, there again, we see the satellites disappear. But when we look at the third console, we continue to see the GPS signal being uh, generated in full force because we have the MicroSemi GPS simulator generating that signal again, ba but based on the last time reception before the GPS signal was lost. So this is an ideal output to use, for example, when a downstream receiver has no holdover of its own. Now let's look at what happens with our unprotected receiver, our receiver connected to the validated output of the Blue Sky GPS firewall, and our GPS receiver connected to the hardened output, what happens when a spoofing event occurs? The spoofing event is, is actually going to be a position movement. And so we're looking at the position uh, graph of each of the three GPS receivers. I think we're starting to see some position movement happen now. So let's wait and see what the three systems do. You're starting to see the position movement occur, both in the unprotected as well as the validated screens. Of course, the position movement in the hardened is showing nothing. It's rock solid. The position continues to move on and on. And in the case of the validated output, it was the anomaly was detected and you can see the signal was cut off. That's why you see the satellite signal strength drop down low. But in the case of the unprotected system, it just walked right off, completely unprotected and has been fooled with, with an inaccurate position. Then when we flip back over to the hardened output, we see again a very clean, no position movement status uh, signal strength of the satellites very, very strong. So this is the results of uh, our uh, three receivers in a spoofed event. Finally, let's move over to the uh, GPS, the Blue Sky GPS console, and we see that the validated output went into an alarm state, as expected, and we've got the drop-down menu showing us the actual GPS signal alarm, showing it as an invalid GPS signal, showing it as a position offset, and the time that it occurred. So this completes our demonstration. This demonstration provided an example of how the Blue Sky GPS firewall can protect against GNSS vulnerabilities. In the case of a complete loss of the GPS signal, the Blue Sky GPS firewall continued to provide a GPS signal output using the hardened output of the unit. In the case of a more sophisticated spoofing event, the Blue Sky GPS firewall cut off the output signal coming out of the validated output and then also continued to provide a complete GPS signal um, out of the hardened output. To find out more about the Blue Sky GPS firewall, please visit us at www.microsemi.com or write us at sales.support at microsemi.com. Thank you.